All right, so we're gonna get started with our first project where we are going to plan a road trip. Now we're going to do a very small road trip. We're not gonna take a whole lot of time, but I'm going to hit on the fundamentals of how to do this really quick and just follow along and then you can definitely scale this out once you've learned how to do these basic fundamentals here. So what we're gonna do is just use the mouse wheel to zoom in and we're gonna go over here just uh, in Washington, but we wanna figure out where we're at. So I'm gonna turn on um, inside the layer section, you know, wanna turn on the borders and labels so we can see where we're at. We're gonna to wanna to turn on the roads and we can also turn on the places, cause why not? And I see over here, um, when I tilt this down, I can see 3D, you got this nice mountain over here. So let's say I wanna take a road trip over here from Tacoma to this nice mountain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a place mark and I'm gonna make that my start button. And you could go zoom in and find your actual house or you could search for it and um, you know pick that actual spot, but however you wanna do it. And I'm just gonna put start just for, for fun. All right, we don't really need to mess with any of this other stuff in here. These are some advanced settings and we don't need to worry about them too much. But what I can do is give this a fun little um, starting thing, little icon right here. So I'm gonna give it this little guy right here, okay? So that's gonna be my start, all right? And then, oh, sorry, made it throw around a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and then draw a path. So I'm gonna go ahead and you can kind of move this box out of the way because sometimes it does get in the way. We can start making a path along this highway. Now we don't have to be super exact um, with this, right? And we can zoom in to find the routes that we, we actually want to take. So if you're planning a real road trip, you're gonna wanna have a rough idea of you know like how many miles you're gonna be going, right? don't want to be completely off but you don't need to get every single bend in my opinion right depends on how particular you want to be so you're you're clicking every time to drop these points right if you need to like change one of these points move it you can kind of just adjust it like this just left click it and move it right and we're going to call this path route right and we made this a five um a five wide um width but we could also make it like a 20 wide right we change the color to blue, right? So that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna just do a place mark at this mountain right here that says destination. And we're gonna put a blue green star for the icon there, just to, just for the sake of it looking kind of cool. So now that we have these three items, right? Like our start, our destination, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a folder, right? And this is gonna be called road trip. So this, this road trip folder right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of these other items in here, right? So this is a, a line and two points that we've named and now we have them in a folder. It's important to have them in that folder because that's the way that you actually save the KML. And the KML is the file type that you can export so you can put it into other pro Google products and lots of other software, right? So we're gonna right click on the folder and we're gonna hit save place as, which is how we get to do this. So roadtrip.kmz, KML, right? We'll go over the difference of those later, but just really either or, right? So, bam. So now you have your KML file of your road trip. So now that you have that, you have successfully planned out a road trip and there's that. So. In the next lessons, we're going to cover some other finer details and some other projects, including zoning a city. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.